All right, everybody, welcome back to the next Trails of Cold Steel. We're picking up right where we left off. We were supposed to meet the destructive Sarah here before we left. For some reason, nobody could figure out. We've done everything we can do. Of course you are, Sharon. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Emma. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Your instantaneous travel. It makes it seem that way. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the... Yep. A valid question, Matthias. Mm. Well, fair point. Uh, motherfucker barely fits. Thankfully, nobody in the rest of the school noticed this. The academy is bereft of people noticing the giant red airship. Had a the command dick looks like they had a Maximilian from the black hole. <laughs> yeah. Salutations, my beautiful friends. Oh, God. It's only been ten days since last we met, but I couldn't keep myself away. Well, of course not. The voice carries well. Prince Oliver and Major Vander. <laughs> Your slack jaw to make For some reason, Vander didn't get any actual dialogue there. It looks like this will be quite the crowd pleaser during its grand unveiling in Heimdall. Wait, what grand unveiling? Man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. 
weird that Vander doesn't have any actual voice lines here. He did before. Who may you be referring to? It's been quite some time. I see many familiar faces gathered here today. And several I've yet to have the pleasure of meeting. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Laura's dad. Is that... I know that voice. <laughs> My Toval's up here too, apparently. The Radiant Blade Master? Father! So that's Laura's dad? Wait, who's the one now? <laughs> and look, Tobol's with him too. <laughs> this isn't quite how I expected our grand reunion to go, that's for sure. What are you doing up there? And what's with the hat? <laughs> I'll fill you in on the details another time. What in the name of Adios is that? Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's Patrick. Wow. What a pretty ship. This thing's a real piece of work. Incredible. I've heard about the specs, but the numbers don't do it justice. It looks even better alive than on paper. There's our engineer. Watching the principles rolling up. Principal Van Dyke. Um, could someone fill us in on what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Your bafflement is quite understandable. The chairman of the board proposed a change to your travel arrangements for this month's field study. He's agreed to deliver all of you to your respective destinations aboard this airship. <laughs> what? Yeah, apparently. He'll be riding in style. <laughs> He's mainly taking it on its maiden voyage to unveil the ship to the nation. We're just kind of along for the ride. You'll Whatever be headed works. to the capital first, but from there, it'll be a straight shot to Ruhr. Well, I'm not sure what to say. Oh, this is all so sudden. I think I need to sit down. Easy, Emma. Well, should we be off, Your Highness? Yes, that sounds marvelous. With that, let me be the first to welcome you, Class 7. Aboard the second Arcel Class High Speed Cruiser, the Courageous! Nothing to be said about you not knowing how to make an entrance, I guess. suddenly shifted dramatically. That's quite a jump in speed. This guy again. Sight. 
My brother told me all about it, but there's no substitute for seeing it soar through the skies. Simply beautiful. Yes, it really is. <laughs> You're up there. God, this ridiculous ass palace. This is the first anybody's seen with the rules in this game. As brief as it is. Wow! That's the courageous. Oliver finally finished his airship. <laughs> it's a fine ship, isn't it? Prince Oliver seems to have gone to quite a lot of trouble having it built. It was expensive. <laughs> Is this the wind of change we're to release across our state and troubled land? Go, my son, and show me the caliber of man. Uh. You have plenty of your own hand in those troubles there, dude. Mm. Hello, Osborne. It's been almost two years already. And look at how far our debaucherous prince has managed to come. Jeez, Lecter. Partnering with Liberal to make a second Arcel class airship, then cruising over the capital? I suppose that's one way to stick it to you for outmaneuvering him at the trade conference. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Still, this was certainly an unexpected play. He and that band of students he likes to ship across the country have proven a never-ending source of entertainment. Is that what you call it? But now, my dear Prince we have reached a decisive point. Apparently. The board has been prepared every piece of its place. You're up to some bullshit. You turn the tides in your favor? I look forward to finding out. All the way around, and now you're coming back. It's currently 10.02, and we have a north-northwesterly wind blowing in at a speed of 11 arch. We've just passed through the Schwarz-Drake Barrier's airspace into the province of Nortia. Current speed is 3,050 SPH. We've reached full cruising velocity. Maintain current course and speed. Follow the Nortia main line, maintaining a distance of 200 arch. I don't know what the aye measurements aye, are in this world. I couldn't tell you exactly how far that is. <laughs> well, yes. So I don't doubt that, and I don't know how you did it. Twenty engines. Yes, she has. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Slightly. Oh, 
Oh, great. Okay, Tomball. <laughs> that, yeah, that makes sense. On the head, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Dear God. All right. Um. The question is, where does one go from here? Wrong button. Way to talk to up here, so let's have a look around. Guess we'll start at the first floor. Hotspot, huh? 200,000. Oh, yeah. Angelica's father. for that kind of production. That's sealed. And a bunch of APCs in here. Oh, four, still. That's some cargo there. Alright. Um, can't go to the engine room. Alright, so. Have a look at the junction area. Boarding gates, okay. Oh my god, you... What about you, Yusus? You got a horse in this race at all? Ah, uh, horse. Oh, jeez. It's terrible. Yes and no. You make it too class, you're still gonna look like you're just competing. Some high room? Oh, hi. Jeez. I don't think so.
Um, you just stay away from the Raven Corral. <laughs> ah, at long last, the Courageous is finally taken to the skies of Erebonia. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a mother hen watching her chicks leave the nest. Really, dude? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, now your voice is back. Um, this may sound a bit forward of me to say, but it sounds like you had some hurdles getting this project together. <laughs> it was no easy ride, I'll say that. I doubt it would have come together without the Prince's unwavering dedication and tireless work. You're commending him, that's different. You had different. to find the time to raise funds and oversee the entire project, in addition to all his official duties. And to add to that, he had to take care of all the arrangements necessary to get Viscount Arce installed as its captain. I can't even imagine how busy your schedule must have been. <laughs> even from a student's perspective, it sounds brutal. Well, for this ship to have any weight as a deterrent, I needed the Viscount. Thankfully, he agreed to my request. My plan is to create a neutral third power capable of acting independently of our nation's two competing factions. It's not a terrible idea. You can think of the Courageous as the first physical embodiment of that idea. A third party, huh? I feel like I'm starting to understand at least part of what it is you're trying to accomplish. The road will be a difficult one. True, but this is only the beginning. Seeing this ship soar through the clouds for the first time moves my heart. Just as when Class 7 was formally established, I look forward to seeing what the future holds for the Courageous. Your Highness. We live in interesting times. The political situation across the Empire seems to grow more ominous by the day. Yeah, just a bit. But, with any luck, making a real show out of this ship's launch will push back against the prevailing climate. One would hope. Well, that's the hope, at least. Oh, well, exactly. Either way, you'll have your whole life to split hairs about politics. <laughs> for now, Give your attention to your field study. Thank you. I know you have high expectations for us, and I hope we'll be able to meet them. <laughs> well, that does make sense. Maybe? I would explain it. Yep, here we go. Missed somebody. Instructor Sarah? Tovo? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, just a little bracer to bracer information swapping. Well, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> That's about the long and short of it. Been a while since I saw you guys, though. Not since last month in Legram. Yeah, always nice to see a friendly face, though. Well, despite keeping in touch with him and setting up these arrangements, it came as a surprise to me to see him on board, too. Huh. Clearly, it was meant to be. Honestly, I was only brought on because of my connection with Viscount Arce. Guess that makes sense. This airship really is in a class all its own, though. It's not every day you see a ship owned by the Imperial family and captained by the Radiant Blade Master. For good reason. This cruiser has the potential to be an important force in Erebonia going forward. Without ties to the Imperial or Provincial armies, it can potentially keep both of them in check if need be. 
hopefully. You might not be able to do that quite as well as a strong guild presence could, but it'll still help protect the Sorry about all the noise, guys. I woke up trusting this morning. It's been really heavy with power and cramp outside the last week. That's true. It still frustrates me how the guild used to be an institution here. And now we're just barely keeping the lights on. I can imagine why. At least the Crossbell branch sends its people over to help us out when we need a hand. Wenzel's one thing, but we owe McLean so many favors, I've lost count. Huh. McLean? Wait, are you talking about... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have heard of him. He's an A-rank bracer over at the Crossbell branch. A guy we used to work with named Wenzel works there now, too. Wait, maybe we should back it up a bit. The guy we're talking about is Arios McLean, a.k.a. the Divine Blade of Wind. The name probably sounds familiar to you because he's also a practitioner of the Eight Leaves One Blade style. Jeez. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I've never met him myself, but I heard a lot about him from my master. He mastered the school's second form. It sounds about as untouchable as anyone who holds the title of Divine Blade. Well, he's pretty damn strong, I'll give you that. He held me out of more tough spots than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Speaking of, you know who else is a student of the Eight Leaves School? Cassius Bright. We were talking about him before, remember? He's the bracer who took command during that big incident two years ago. Though, from what I heard, he left the way of the sword behind a while back. Kinda odd. Cassius Bright was here in Erebonia. Wait, two years ago. Eh, it was an eventful time, to put it lightly. And yeah, we have Cassius to thank for getting us past that. But afterward... <laughs> Well, you know the story from there. They shuttered guild branches all across the Empire, one after the other, and your dear, sweet instructor was out of a job. I'd be glad to give you all the grisly details, but it's a long story. We should probably save it for another time. But <laughs> hey, the guild seems to have a good track record with folks from the Eight Leaves School. Maybe you should consider a career as a bracer. Tour's always open, you know? It'd probably be better than some of his other alternatives. Me? A bracer? Huh. I never really thought about it before. Hey, there's enough of us singing the bracer blues without you trying to recruit my students. <laughs> it never hurts to start them early. Seriously, though, we're always looking for more good people. If that's something you wanted to do, I wouldn't turn you down. <laughs> I'll give it some thought. Let's see, now is that everywhere? I don't know. Oh, Attention all crew members and passengers. We will soon be entering Ruler Airs. Yep, yep, Please prepare for landing. And make sure you have all personal effects with you before disembarking. Yeah, don't leave anything on the ship. Like we're Just try to coming back. That was a shorter flight than I'd expected. Guess I'd so better go round up the others and start getting moving, ready. Right? Yeah, I guess that music again. Brewer Airport's granted us permission to land. Commence landing preparations, and keep the engine warm. We'll be taking off again right after our guests have disembarked. Where are you guys going now? Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing the courageous to land. Three days. Yeah, or this. Oof. Orders can be bad if a certain someone can keep a mouth shut. I am a oh brilliant! Thanks, Crow. That helped. Should be dropping us in the fucking disaster that is ruin right now. You guys don't even understand how fucked up things are here yet. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Friggin' tunnels. <clears throat> nice piano opener. This place is literally built in layers. When your town needs a fucking escalator in the square. Mini Midgar, except not as greasy. <laughs> it is weird. These guys up here playing with the remote car. Sharon's not going to let us deviate from the flight plan. Fucking escalators. <clears throat> of course they did. Generator, I think. Yep. Hmm. serves multiple purposes though. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh god, it's that limousine again. There's the oxen tank. Ah, oh, that's the ship. It's the other airship. Very frustrating trip for you, isn't it? <clears throat> Why would you need class on these elevators?
trifle on the opulent side. Arena, you think your desk is big enough? Looks like the Courageous's inaugural flyover in Heimdall and Brewer was a success. My god, woman, you are a living corporate stereotype. You're talking on the phone, reading a document, and typing at the same fucking time. But don't release an official statement until tomorrow. Yes, that'll be fine. Yes, I'd like you to begin as soon as possible. And keep a careful eye out for any insider trading. Oh, honey, you missed a bus on that a while back. Hello, Arena Reinford speaking. Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand. Fast track the construction on the special train if you can. No, Busy? pay it no mind. I doubt crossbell related shares rising is indicative of a larger market trend. Yeah. I'll keep the spoilers to a minimum. But sell them all early next month. Timing is key here. <laughs> <laughs> he still looks pissed. She's like a commander issuing orders across multiple fronts. Yeah, it's impressive to see Toa do it. Mrs. Reinford seems to have it down to a science. You guys are gonna make Elisa angry. She's a general on the battlefield of business. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, people are here, remember? Told her to bring them in. Wow, cold. We all have other matters we need to attend to, so I'll get right to the point. Here. What? Thank you. Okay, right off the bat. I've cleared my schedule to dine with you this evening, so anything you wish to discuss can wait until then. Okay then. I'll leave the rest to you, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. When do you expect to return this evening? I'm planning on seven. Have our guests enjoy a night cruise, if you will. That sounds splendid. I'll make the necessary arrangements. That's it? That's all you have to say? Oh, Lisa, you're not helping. I don't care if you ignore me. That's nothing new. But my classmates are here and you're <clears throat> on our board of directors. Would it kill you to show at least a little interest? See, things are not going real well Whoa, here. Well, Lisa, it's already. okay. You don't need to get worked up for our sake. Uh -oh. oh, I almost forgot to mention. Huh? If you want to return in one piece, I'd suggest you steer clear of the provincial army and the railway military police. Ah, uh, having problems here already with that, are we? The same goes for the Marquis's mansion. Though I can't imagine what business would take you there. None, one would hope. Use common sense. And don't try to overstep your bounds. I want to stay the fuck away from the RMP if at all possible. Have a safe trip, Madam Chairman. Hmm. Wow, your mom's a real piece of work, Elisa. The army only wishes it was that efficient. <laughs> well, she certainly has the metal to head up an international company like this, to say the least. Oh, see? You see why I didn't want to come back now? You can't tell me that gave you a great impression of her. I think you're being a little hard on her. She was looking out for our safety, giving us that advice. Ugh, oh, just forget it. Getting all worked up and storming off in a huff is what she wants me to do, and I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Uh, I mean, you kind of already did. The only part we'll you didn't do was Sunday, storm off. Sharon. I'd like you to have the guest rooms and dinner preparations sorted by then. Oh, and see to our luggage, would you? <laughs> As you wish. Have a safe trip, everyone. Well, that certainly could have went better. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, that's actually probably true. Alright, time to look at the folder of doom. Okay, or research. Rado? That's a hell of a name. Uh, Arcus Units. And the monster on the by road. Okay. Right, that's pretty standard. Yeah. No, you can't. Relax. Okay, where are we? Alright, folks, we're gonna stop this one here in the freaking Rhineford lobby. These ridiculous models. And catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it.